Hello MIT 217 students, Medical Office Procedures for this upcoming fall 19 semester. This is your instructor, Janet Thompson, and I wanted to do a video tour of the course and maybe explain a few things about this course that might be of interest for you before we get started into the upcoming semester. So with that being said, I'm going to switch my view here on my computer so I can show you what's on my computer screen. And let's take a look at this course. So MIT 217 Medical Office Procedures. We start with the Getting Started link. This has our information of the course. So for our book, we are using two different items. We are using an ebook and Connect account, which a lot of you are familiar with. And um, that is through your tuition. You pay a fee that gives you automatic access. The second thing that you're going to need is a exam voucher for the CMAA test. That's the Certified Medical Administrative Assistant exam. So you can purchase this this week or uh, during the bookstore charge period if you need to charge this to financial aid. It's going to be about a $150 fee. If you want to buy this directly from the NHA website, the National Health Career Association's website, it's a little bit cheaper. I think it's like $105. And we're going to discuss this more during um, my Mon or sorry Tuesday class meeting and recording session. So I'll have more information about that. But this is going to be the final. You're going to take an actual certification exam as your final. Uh, you don't you, you sit for the exam. If you don't pass it, it's not like you fail the class. But this class is to prepare you for this credential and the questions that you're going to see on this exam. It's not a bad exam at all. It's two hours, um, 130 some questions done on the computer, multiple choice. It ties in perfectly to what we cover in this class. And it's an industry credential that you're going to have after completing this class. So we can put that on resumes and it will help with a future job search. So I'm very excited about that. We are going to take a certification exam. I will have various test times offered. It does have to be taken in person and proctored. Uh, I'll have morning, afternoon and evening tests so I can absolutely work around any uh, work schedule or any other kind of weird scheduling situation you may have going on. But I do want to make that known up front. You do have to take this test as the final. So uh, it's worth 10% of the grade to sit for the exam. And, um, you know, by saying in this class, this is, this is what will be expected of you is to take this certification. And the grading scale is broken down into review assignments, quizzes, and midterm, the final, blog posts, and a career portfolio. So you need to access the syllabus, of course, for every class. The assignment schedule is available, and this is pretty much going to be our map for what we do in the course. I don't foresee any changes to this. If any, it would be a guest speaker that comes in. I like to have guest speakers come for this class that are our office managers out in the field. So, um, but anything that's added, well, you would definitely have plenty of time to know about it ahead of time. So this is going to be our map of the course, this assignment schedule. There's a lot of hands-on career readiness in this course, specifically mock interviews that I will be scheduling for you guys to do, and I'll have more information on that closer to Tom. And let's see, that's our Getting Started link. Now, the online classroom, this is where I have my class meetings. Um, I do in-person meetings Tuesday, 9.30 to noon. So this coming Tuesday is August 20th. So August 20th is going to be my first meeting. 9.30, and I'll be reviewing Chapter 1, and you can come in person to see me at Room 205 at Technology Drive Campus, or if you go to the online classroom link during this time, it will allow you to click on the class to get into uh, the Collaborate. So what I'm doing right now is the course tour. So when you get in, this is what it's going to look like when you get in as a student, um, and it looks crazy right now because I'm showing my screen, but you would be at home watching me live right now going through this material. Now, that's not a requirement to come in person or online at a certain time. I will have class recordings for every class meeting I have, so you can access those from home at a later time. 
Um, but, I, you know, I let some students stress, well, I can't be in person this time. I can't be online. That's completely fine. I don't want you to stress about it. As long as you're keeping up with the assignment schedule and deadline, I will be happy. So that's the online classroom. I want to encourage you to take advantage of this because I really like to have students to interact with. It makes the class a lot fun, a lot more funner for me and the students that are in person. So please consider taking advantage of this option. The link to access the class will be here before um, the class start time. So, but again, it's not a requirement. All right, our course content link, the syllabus quiz, please get that in by the deadline for me or students will be dropped if they don't have it. We see chapters and weekly coursework. I went ahead and opened up to chapter four. So we have a general agenda of what we do in the class sessions. We meet online and in person August 20th for week one. We're gonna review the syllabus, set up connect if needed and read and review chapter one. So the chapter one PowerPoint is here for you to access. That's what I go over in lectures. So it's a great study tool. Also, uh, for a lot of the different subjects, like I won't go into week three, we're going to do a medical terminology review. So every week we do review questions for the CMAA exam. Uh, we have the chapter three PowerPoint. It looks like we have a, an activity here, write your skills, a reference check. I'll explain more about this when it's class time. It's a pretty interesting activity to think about. Some videos, we have videos on email etiquette, proofreaders marks, when you're editing documents in HAM. So there's different resources to check out for the weekly folders as well. Let's go back to course content. We have blog posts. I went ahead and had the first blog post available for you to start thinking about it, what you might want to come up with. And then there is a great example from a previous student from last semester. And she wrote on interpersonal skills on the medical office. And this was just a cute um, example, very well written. And this is pretty much the format you would follow. This is what I'm looking for. <laughs> so um, look forward to reading what you come up with on your blogs. And then there's a video and a grading rubric. So if you want to go ahead and think about that and get started on that assignment, you can. The first was not due until a few weeks. So career portfolio, we're going to be working on this all semester. And you're going to be getting an up-to-date resume and cover letter for me. Um, you'll do a career goals essay. You're going to provide me an example of your work that you've done in the program. So there's just some examples there. I've had students, you know, if you wrote a really good paper in a class, you could use that. I've had students create flyers, brochures, and counter forms or what we call a super bill for a medical office. And you're going to do a paper reflection, just like a one page reflection on your mock interview. And I'm not getting too much detail on all this stuff, but, um, you can go ahead and access all of these assignments now. So here in the career portfolio job post, I do have to periodically keep this updated. So I copied and pasted a lot of jobs here that I found. I look at jobs every week. So we're going to be looking at uh, different postings and positions and what's available. And then the final or the CMAA certification, just some general information on that. Um, you can visit the NHA website for uh, more information. Or if you want to purchase your um, exam voucher online through the NHA, you can. It's a little bit cheaper. And I will have in this folder, there will be um, more PowerPoints and um, practice tests and different types of review for the CMAA that we're going to see come in this folder throughout time. All right, the last thing I was going to go over is this course tools link. So this is where I want you to access everything. You can actually access your blogs from here. You can um, access your grades. This is where you'll look at your grades. And how I want you to set up for your Connect or to access Connect after you get registered, I want you to access it through Course Tools. Go to McGraw-Hill Higher Education over here and then go to my Connect section. So when you do that, it's going to pull up the class that looks like this. So all the assignments are listed there. And then to access your ebook and connect, you have this area over here, read. So I can click on my ebook and it comes open. I can click this little menu icon to go to different chapters if I want to skip around. There's also a smart book app that you can download on an iPad or, or iPhone to um, read the textbooks on your uh, Apple device. And that's my preferred way. I have these on my iPad, the SmartBook app. I prefer to read these through my iPad, like it's a Kindle. 
Also in the course, that was to access the read to get to the ebook. There's also the study option for what's called Learn Smart. And I love these uh, practice questions. I gotta go through this tour. Go through it and do what it wants me to. Um, I can go to my chapter that I want to review. And it's like just like the ebook, except I have this option here at the bottom to practice. So it's gonna give me practice questions. There's 68 in this one, it's quite a bit. And uh, this is check all that apply. So you put your answers in. You can do I know it, I think so, I'm unsure, um, no idea. <laughs> so this is a good practice tool for you. Okay, I'm going to close out of Connect and get back into my course. So again, course tools, McGraw-Hill Higher Education. And that takes you, go to my Connect section, takes you directly there. And under the course content, if I go in the weekly folders, uh, you can go to the assignments, just one assignment at a time directly from the course content link as well. Okay. I hope that gives you a good overview of everything um, just to get started with the course for now. I will have more in-depth information available after this Tuesday's session that will be recorded. Hopefully you can join me live, but if not, that's just fine. Uh, if you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free to email me and I will see you all next week.